What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm George and today we're out here at Aiken Golf Club and we're gonna play seven holes and honestly, we're just gonna kinda see the see the round through my lens. Um, I'm gonna help you guys kinda see how I play golf, um, what kind of decisions I make, some course management, if you will. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a fun, simple video. Hopefully I can go low, um, but if not, hope you all enjoy. All right guys, hole number eight's a par four. It's pretty short. Um, I'm gonna hit four and off the tee and that's gonna leave me about 110 yards, um, a good wedge into this green. Um, so yeah, playing it pretty conservative. Nice. So yeah, that four and off the tee was a conservative play. I wanted to take out the kind of big miss and leave myself with a full wedge. Uh, so I'm gonna have about 100 yards, 105 yards downhill. The pin's on the front. So that's gonna allow me to be a little more aggressive uh, with this with this shot. All right, so I was watching the third match against Wesley, and I noticed I was aimed at way right in pretty much every shot, which would make sense why I wasn't hitting it very good with my irons. So today's kind of swing thought or my cue that I'm gonna be thinking of is just basically aim left. Um, feel like I'm aiming way more left than usual and just kind of swing normal. All right, so I got 115 downwind downhill. Um, I'm gonna play it about a 110 shot. And so honestly, that's just a good solid three quarter sand wedge for me. Um, this is kind of a green light pin, if you will. So I'm gonna take it right at it, be aggressive, and uh, try to make it. Oh my god! I made it! Oh my gosh, that was sick. I mean, guys, look where my ball landed. I said I was gonna try to hole it. I didn't really think I was gonna hit that close. But here we go, spun a little too much, but that's okay. We got about 10, 11 feet right up the hill, exactly where, where you want to be putting from. So I hit a good putt, just kind of misread it, thought it was gonna go right, obviously it went a little left, but all in all, three, uh, yeah, three solid shots on the first hole, we'll take that. All right, so this pin's middle left, um, 170 yards to the pin. Um, I only hit eight iron, a good eight iron for me is 175, so I'm gonna go three quarter, smooth eight iron. You wanna be on the right side of the screen, so I'm gonna kinda try to aim about 30 feet right, try to end it up 15 feet to the right of the hole. That's the game plan. Nope, kinda slid under a little bit. Perfect. And by slid under, I mean actually hit it solid. Just, uh, just waiting to get the uh, putter warmed up. All right, sprinklers right there. We're playing through adversity on hole 10, a par five downhill. Um, I like to play par fives aggressively as I can. Um, so this hole, I'm gonna aim up the left side, um, play my cut and just trust it. And uh, trust that it cuts hopefully back to the center of the fairway. All right, since we're on a par five, um, I got a really good piece of advice for you guys that I got handed down to me by my sports psychologist, Dr. Mo, Dr. Morris Pickens. Basically on par fives, he said, you wanna be in position to score at all times. So what that means is say I've got 185 yards here and where's the best place if I were to miss it that I would still be able to get up and down fairly easily for birdie. So that's kind of what, how I approach all the par fives is yes, I wanna make eagle and whatever, but I wanna be in the best position to get up and down if I do miss it. And that being said, I've got 185 into this hole. There's my ball. Um, trees are no good over here. The pin's over there. So that is where I wanna be if I do miss it. So I'm gonna hit a six iron, kind of start it over here and hit a little fade that hopefully ends up on the left side of the green. Okay. So, now we get to employ that kind of strategy. I hit it a little too far left. Um, fades are not my strong suit, uh, per se, but I missed it in a place where it's gonna give me the best chance to get up and down. I'm gonna have a lot of green to work with, probably a six out of 10 on the difficulty scale. Um, but nonetheless, if I would've missed it right, if I would've had an aggressive target and hit the opposite miss where I hit it right in these trees, I'm looking at making bogey. So, all's good. All right, here's my ball. 
there's the pin, but if you can notice, look how much green I have to work with. It might look like a hard shot, but it's honestly, as far as bunker shots go, pretty standard. It's not easy, but it's definitely doable. So we can attribute that birdie to the mental side of the game. Yeah, I hit some good shots on this hole, but the decision I made from the fairway to aim and try to be on the left side of the green basically opened up the entire green to me to give myself the easiest um, opportunity for birdie or chipping in for eagle. Next hole. All right, we got 193, a par three, and the pin is on the left side of the green, which fits my eye the best. Um, but it's in between clubs, so I'm gonna hit a three-quarter six iron, try to play like a 190 shot, which is a perfect choke down, smooth six iron. Um, you don't wanna go left, so I'm gonna be taking it about 20 feet right of this pin, because um, that gives me the best look at birdie or getting out of here with par. Uh, it's a little left, but might catch the left side of the green. Oh yeah. Got away with it. All right, so that was another example. That swing right there is another example of how good mental decisions and targets can really help you out. So since I took my line pretty far right of the green or on the right side of the green, it allowed me where if I did hook it, it would still be on the green or I wouldn't be in trouble left. So as you'll see when I get up here, um, my ball's on the left side of the green as a result of my good conservative uh, target. Now, what you guys have all been waiting for, my wife, Milson Bryan, so, uh, give us a little insight. Who are you? What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Milson Bryan. I am originally from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And uh, how long have you loved me? A couple days. <laughs> Gosh, savage. Oh, the greens. A little, a little too much big borrowing deal. But on a 193 yard or 190 yard par three, tap in pars are really good. All right, so these next three holes are the super scoreable stretch out here. So my targets, my decisions are all gonna be slightly more aggressive than the first few holes. Um, so this hole, um, as you can see, dog leg left up the hill. Um, my target's gonna be somewhere over here and play my draw. Um, it's a par four, like 400 yards, so just a good three wood up the right side and play my draw. Whoa, that fading ball. All right, so we got 80 yards into this hole from the right rough. Um, the ball's not gonna be spinning as much, so I'm gonna play this about 75-ish yards and let it kind of release a little bit. And I wanna leave myself about 10 to 12 feet below this hole if possible. So, that being said, let's see if I can execute. Sit. Sit a little bit. Sit. Okay. Okay. Solid. Should be pretty good. Alright, so I judged that distance pretty well. See, it didn't have that much spin on it. Uh, ball's right there. Pin. So I got a good look at Birdie. Very pleased. Sweet! Another thumbs up. How about that snake? That thing broke like three feet. All right, after five holes, I am 200 par, playing well. Got two very birdieable and e eagleable holes uh, coming up. So I'm staying aggressive. I'm feeling it. All right, on a more serious note, um, so heading into a couple easy holes, um, I'm playing well. Honestly, I would probably switch my game plan, not switch it, but I would go to the more aggressive of the game plans on these uh, next couple holes to really take advantage of the fact that I'm playing well, I'm hitting it well, I'm putting it well. Instead of sometimes you get kind of cautious, oh, I'm, I'm too under, so let's play it conservative. No, when you're playing well, that's when you really get aggressive and you really get after it. So, that's my tip. Hold number 14 is a par five, and if you hit the fairway, it's a really, really good look at birdie or eagle. Um, but I'm a fader, so I have to start a fade kind of over these trees. Um, and so, 
I honestly just have to really stand up on this tee box, commit, and make an aggressive swing because if you get scared or you get tentative, oh, I don't want to go left, that's when you always hit bad shots. So what I do is rely, rely on the fact that I'm a good driver, um, be confident, and just stand up there and just crush it. Like so. All right, so we got 162 uphill, playing about 180. So I'm gonna hit my seven iron, choke down a little bit to account for the uh, ball above my feet, and just start at that tree back there you see. Um, that should get me to about 10, 15 feet left of that pin, which is where I wanna be putting from. So, that being said, choke up on it and trust it. Be right, come on, go, go. Nice. Well, 15, 20 feet. All right, so just by changing my alignment to basically aiming correctly and what it feels like for me is aiming way left has freed me up, has really allowed me to like make a lot of aggressive, smooth and trusted golf swings. So it's really nice when you're playing golf like that. All right, uphill 22 footer for Eagle. Going slightly right uphill. Yeah, easy par five. Tap in birdies. Oh, pretty good. All right, so didn't make the equal, but making a birdie puts me at three under through six, uh, one hole left. Even had a gallery up there, got on a skateboard. Uh, who knew? But yeah, heading to the last hole, drivable par four, making eagle. Uh, hole number 14, drivable par four, the last hole of the day. Uphill under the wind, probably about 260. Uh, but with the wind, maybe 270. So honestly, a perfect, solid, smooth three wood is the play. We're going right at it. A little hollow face, but. All right, so that was my first, like, not great shot of the day, honestly. Kind of skied it. Well, not kind of, I pretty much skied that. All right, so I have, don't have a lot of green to work with, um, but I have a good lie soft greens, um, so I should be able to spin it if I hit a good shot and keep it close or get it close. So, come on up here. All right, so not a whole lot of green to work with, but since I'm playing well, I'm gonna keep that ag aggressive mentality going. I'm gonna try to land something right in here and honestly try to make it, whereas say I'm not playing as well or things aren't going my way today, I probably try to land it somewhere here and then just take my 20 footer. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get super aggressive, try to land it here. One hop, stops, goes in. Thank you, thank you. I made it right here or something? Skips, oh, thought I made it. All right guys, thank y'all for watching this video. Hope you, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Got a lot of fun stuff coming. And yeah, hopefully y'all can use this to get better and hopefully I can get better. See you guys.